to Nigeria military. But here you have a terrorist. People who have seen Nigerian military to be their number one enemies. People who have come out headlong to confront Nigerian military. Killing them and other innocent people. They will just go and say they have surrendered. And then the next thing Nigeria will still spend the taxpayers money. Instead of prosecuting them according to the act of terrorism. And probably hang them to death. Take them off the face of this country because they are terrorizing the people of Nigeria. Nigerian government will go aside the huge sum of money is spending on security because of this Boko Haram. Will go and again spend more money rehabilitating them and the worst of it, engage them into Nigerian military. If you are not seeing the danger I'm seeing, if our leaders, those side leaders I call them, from ethnic nationality and not seeing the danger that will befall us in the near future. I am putting it today. Some of us have sacrificed our life to say and put on the table nothing but the truth and to help the near future. I see myself as a leader in the near future and I will not be leading a country that will be in total chaos. America, as powerful as they are, I've never heard when they will arrest ISIS. And then think they will now re-engage ISIS into American military. It's not done. American military is instead infiltrate ISIS. They will instead infiltrate ISIS to get intelligence report and then nip it on the board on whatever situation to curtail their excesses. But in the case of Nigeria, yeah, you are now seeing Boko Haram infiltrating the Nigerian military. And that is to tell you the danger that is lying ahead. In the next 10, 20 years, mind you, we'll have more than thousands of Boko Haram into our Nigerian military. Recycling insurgency, that is what I called it. And what it means, we have vibrant, able, committed youths of Nigerians. I give you an example with FCT. The last recruitment list I saw from Nigerian military, nobody, no indigenous of FCT, was enlisted in the list I saw. We have so many youths who want to join Nigerian army, but the opportunity is not being given. But here is an insurgency given automatic ticket to join Nigerian military. What is wrong in the after sensitizing, rehabilitating them, engage them into what we call civilian JTF? What is so important that you make them? officers of Nigerian military. There is danger lying ahead and let Nigerian cities and wake up from their slumber. And our docile leaders of ethnic nationality wake up and speak when it's time. Now, the issue is just this. If you want to join Nigerian military now, how I see it, go join Boko Haram. After one, two months, surrender yourself. Nigerian military will bring you, they will go and do what they call rehabilitation and engage you. That's what it means. The multiplier effect is negative. It's very, very, very dangerous going ahead. And so I call on Nigerian people to again open their eyes and say no to this trend, ugly trend that is continuing in our society.